Okay, brand new day. Monday, day 16. We're halfway through fall. Being as happy as I am with you, it makes me a little nervous. Here is an apple. <laughs> I feel so nervous right now. You know the cure for nervousness? Apples. Boom. There you go. Okay, we got some stuff here. All right, this stuff is ready. Chop, chop. Oh, it's raining. That's great. I don't have to water. Like right about here. Good. Okay, so no more planting there. Tiny. <laughs> the little heart every time it gets me. His teeny tiny heart. Sell you. Store you. What's up, boys? Daisy? It's literally only girls in here. The sheep might be a boy. Everyone knows all females in here. Give me this stuff. I took something. Again, I took something. Okay, well... <laughs> awkward. Let's put these back. Took some food. I did. Woo-woo! Hey, what's up, Hope? Okay, everything's being watered, so... There's really no mana to be spent... So we can just eat this stuff now. Eat the milk and the eggs. This, we're gonna sell, sell, sell you. You go in a chest. Sell, sell, sell. Nothing much. What's up with you? I just woke up from hibernation. <laughs> Welcome to the land of the living. Not much going on with me. Just enjoying a little sun haven time. Doing some farm and chores. The huge. Chop, chop. Okay, there's room for crops here. 10 crops. Mm, this I need one of these for the museum. One of these for the museum. And then the rest will save for the moment. Anything else, girl? Some of these, girl. Farming level up. That sounds exciting. It's a fun little game. Expensive yield. All crops have a 25% chance to yield one, two, three mana orbs or ticket when harvested. All... Permanent stat increases gained from food are now increased by an additional 20%. This bonus is it's retroactive. Crafting any item has a 50% chance to restore mana. Eh. Barn animals are now happy. You gain no gameplay benefit. Golden heart. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. 16% chance to yield golden animal products. Level 46. Okay, I need one of these for the museum, and then the rest of these will dump in a chest. This I can sell. This we're saving. And I have room for 15 new crops. Let's wait until these honeys are all on the same timer. 
We're going to wait. The stuff is not fully grown. Okay. So it said I have... I know how to make blue rose vases now. Let's see what it takes to craft one of those. I got a streamlined cod and a royal herring from that. Whoa, this is a legendary fish. Let's see if I can do something with that. Sell that. Can I do anything with this fish? Where is my stuff over here? This legendary fish. Nothing on the grill. What about sushi table? Can I make legendary sushi sashimi? <laughs> I can make cod sashimi. It's worth 50 gold. It's worth one more gold than... <laughs> Let's do it. We're going to do it. We're going to get that one gold. I bet you could also experience though from crafting. This looks really nice. Okay, so we're just gonna sell the fish then. Got some more coffee. We're gonna get high on coffee. And this, we could just sell. Okay, more stuff there. All right, I have enough wood now. We can make that drool crafting table. Let's make one of these. And then we're going to have to find a home for it. Okay, I have enough sunlight to make another key. And that might be enough mithril to make a watering can. It is. Me through a watering can. Good. Okay. This thing is finished. Let's put it over here. Hmm. Sure. Oh, it glows. So eventually I want to put kegs there. Let's move this then. And then we're going to put the seed maker somewhere else. So let's do that now. Can I still get in here? It's a little tight, but yes. Move it down some. Move you down a little bit. Okay, let's chop this down then and chop this down. And then this one and this one also. Open it up some more. It still looks so cluttered, but that's fine. We'll work on it some more later. Hmm. Okay, let's get organized. Start dumping stuff in chest. In and in. What else? You. You go up here. We got some stuff we can sell. Sell this ale. You, you. You, you. Sell this fish. Put you away. This is for the museum. Getting full on crops. Have some more tokens. We can sell this fish and I want to use these 
put away these plants. And I want to see about crafting more blue rose vases. Let's put this stuff down first. Fill it all in. It won't go any higher. That's as high as it goes, okay? So I wanna put some in front like this. Yes, that looks much nicer now, yeah. Okay, what about right here? Sure. And then we can put these away. And let's see about crafting blue rose things. Blue. No. Maybe it's rose. No. Maybe it's a furniture one. Basic furniture. Oh, I need torches. Rose. This one. Red rose vase. I don't have that. Barrel of red flowers. Whoa, that looks nice. Maybe it's blue. Painter's design easel, a blue bed. Huh, no. It must be this one then, advanced furniture, blue. No. Hmm, this is suspicious. Rose. It's not the loom, right? Nope. Wait, it said I could craft that. Maybe at the farmer's table? Ro oh, there it is. Blue rose bouquet. You need roses and 75 mana? Sure, do it. How much does that give? 300 gold? I could also just use it on display. Let's eat this. Oh, that's right. I took that perk. I need to eat cooked food. So I thought I had a date with Lynn today, but I guess not. I'm curious if she'll still take the, um, the letter that says we're dating. What's this? Ooh, you need level 40, seven spell damage. Ruby amulet, diamond amulet. Whoa, yeah, I want this. Whoa, this one's amazing. Mana regen and mana. I need diamond and gold. I can make that right now. 20% increased gold from monsters. 10% reduced fishing. 5% five farming skill. A conjured spark has been carefully set into this ring using magic, making it a handy source of light. Okay. Who needs a golden goose? Enchanted with this mythical might of eggs, this golden ring grants its wearer a chance to conjure their own golden egg. <laughs> what? 10% mining damage. A delicate amulet handling a golden chain. It preserves the life that's where increasing the invulnerability period by 25%. That's not bad. That's a really good boss fighting ring. Amulet. Amulet of time. 10% dodge chance? This one is really good, though. The diamond. This one is really good for a sorcerer. So I need 10 diamonds and gold bars. I have that. Eight, nine, ten. And gold bars. Nine more. Put you away. And we'll stick this in here. I'm going to make some more of those vases at some point. I think I'm just going to use them as decorations. And let's put this away.
Diamond amulet. Yes, make me one of those. Oh, it makes a noise. Oh, this is really cool. Let's zoom in on this. Oh, this table is so cool. It has like a little light. There's a magic magnifying glass, spinning crystals and other magical tools going. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's making a watering can. And yeah. That's really it. Let's go buy some more wood from that dude and see about getting some crops. I have five, 10, 15 spaces. Do I have any more crops over here for that? Actually, I might. Mango seeds, 11 days. They'll grow in time. You plant five mango seeds. What else? Looks like that's it. Unless there's some in this one. These are lotus or bees. Well, I should see if I have enough to make more bee boxes also. Bees. I need stone and wood planks. Okay. Make more planks then. And what about kegs? You need hardwood planks and heavy stones. Okay, that one dude sells heavy stones and I might have enough hardwood planks for another keg. I do. I have to process these also. Let's process this hardwood then. Make me another 200 hardwood. Oh, you can't. Okay, 120 is fine. Oh, the necklace is ready. That was fast. Awesome. Put you away. Plant this and I need another 10 crops. We could buy another 10 mango seeds. Five, 10. Okay, let's do that. They take 11 days to grow, so they'll be ready on the 27th or the 28th. They'll be ready in time before the season ends. Hello, Catherine. Apple for you, my lady. Sell me 10 mango seeds. I forgot I had that perk where cooked food, when you eat it, it gives you bonus mana. I should be trying to cook the fish then. I can turn the fish into sashimi, some of them anyway, and then I can eat that to get increased uh, more mana. Hmm, okay. I'm curious about this letter. Let's grab some of these letters and see if I can pass them around. Where did I put them? Love letters. So one for Lynn, one for Anne, one for Kitty. There's no way Kitty is ready yet. Lynn and Anne, it says I'm dating Lynn already. But let's see if she'll take this letter. And let's see what happens if I give it to her now. Shit. 
She's standing outside the museum in the rain. <laughs> okay. Hello, Lynn. Oh, this is sweet of you, Ember. And unexpected. Mostly because, well, we're already dating. <laughs> Wait, so you don't need to get the letters? I wasted all those tokens on that. But it's such a romantic gesture. I'll treasure this. Do I at least get hearts? You must be not dating or married to this character already. Achieved five hearts and progressed far enough in their dialogue to date this character. Oh, shucks. Okay, we'll give it back. Oh, wait, she gave it back. It didn't waste. Okay. So wait, it said only five hearts. <gasps> and God, and Kitty. Wait, that's five hearts. Where are they? Time to get new girlfriends. Anne, I see you. Kitty, I see you. We must increase the harem max capacity. Two more members for the harem. Assuming, so you have to have progressed their dialogue far enough. Let's see if I progressed her dialogue enough. Ember, are you happy to see me? I'm happy to see you, of course, Kitty. I have a special question for you. Do you want to go out on a date? A date with Ember and Kitty for real, Nya? Yes, for real. Whoa, you have a date with Kitty. First date with Kitty. Oh my gosh. Yes, Ember. We can, you can meet me in front of my house in the morning at 10. Whoa, 10 in the morning? What the heck? I got stuff to do. She wants to meet at 10 in the morning. Are you okay? You look anxious. Kitty's excited. I have a surprise for you. She gave me a gift. Kitty's cat toy. Ember, a gift for you. Oh, it must be her keepsake. Thanks, Kitty. What is it? I made it myself. It's a toy to keep you from getting bored. It's my favorite one, and it's for you because you're my favorite friend. Here, take it. Take it. I have a gift for you. Do you want to be a girlfriend? Oh, this is sweet of you, Ember. An unexpected... I feel like we just aren't there yet in our relationship. Let's get to know each other better. You must not be dating or married to this character. Ready to cheat five hearts. Okay. So I have to exhaust some more of her dialogue. Of course it would increase fishing. Of course it would. Oh, little mousy. Maybe there's someone out there who will make me as happy as you do. Yeah. <laughs> Rejected again. Damn. That's... I literally got rejected by my own girlfriend and giving her a love letter. My own girlfriend didn't want my love letter. What the hell? Kitty's gives plus fishing. That makes sense. What's up, Catherine? I think I gifted you already. Okay, let's go find Anne. Where's Anne? Over here. Oh, Anne. I have a letter that did not get rejected by Lynn or Kitty. This is a different letter. And it's just for you. I think she's in the bar practicing alcoholism. This is why you're only girlfriend and not wife. Just saying. What's up, Anne? Hi, Ember. You look far off. Something on your mind? Topi and Pod have me thinking. What's your favorite childhood memory? I don't really have an answer. Look, I had a rough childhood. I didn't have birthday parties or lollipops whenever I scraped my elbows. And in case my tone isn't clear, I don't like getting into it. If you ever want to talk, you can talk to me. Thanks for the offer, I guess. June has tried to... Whoa! What's this about June? I'm gonna have to have a talk with June. June just tries to squeeze it out of me before, but he's so tender. <laughs> he means well, but it annoys me. I appreciate what you said, though, Amber. I'll keep it in mind. Speaking of far off, if you could travel anywhere, where would it be? That's easy. The southern region. I've always wanted to live in a tropical paradise, and the water there is warm enough to swim in every day. I can already see my cabana on the beach. So she likes tropical things, which means she'll probably like tropical fruits like mangoes and pineapples and stuff. Do you think you would continue working as a merchant? 
Of course, my plan is to have a partner in the north send me items that I can label as exotic in the south. Smart. That's actually smart. Then I could open a shop that's small but with high good values. High value goods. That's actually really business savvy. Low work, high payoff. That's life. And then the reverse is true. So your partner in the north can send you northern goods and you can send them southern goods. Here is not Kitty's or Lynn's love letter. Oh, this is sweet of you, Ember, and unexpected. Don't. To be honest with you, I've been wondering what would happen if we dated, so let's do it. Yes, I got another girlfriend. I'm trying to organize a big sale. Here you are, trying to flirt with me. You're lucky I love it. Whoa, she said she, the L word. Here's an apple. An apple, if you're trying to win me over, I certainly hope you could find a better gift. You say that every time, but yet you still like it. Hmm. Okay. So this letter. Wait, there are other girls in other towns. Like there's an elf girl in the elf village and there's a demon girl in the demon village. We can re-gift this to one of them. <laughs> We're going to date them also. <laughs> when I get to those towns. We're not there yet, so we may as well save it and not get rid of it. Kitty rejected my love, and we have a date scheduled for 10 in the freaking morning tomorrow. My God, Kitty, what the hell? Uh, Was there anything else I wanted to do? Felt like there was something, but I forget now. Mm, okay, let's go do a little mining. I still need more mithril. I want to finish this armor. Specifically the armor. And the watering can is being built. The hole is nice too, but that could happen another time. Yeah, I want to finish this armor. Let's see if we can't get enough. Back into the mines. I have a sunite key. We can also unlock that last sunite door and see what's at the bottom of the mines. Let's stop at this guy's shop first and buy all of his wood and heavy, heavy stones. I will buy all of your wood, sir. Logs and all of your heavy stones. Oh, wait, that reminds me. Let's go. I wanted to check something before I forget. I want to check Blossom Shop and see if her tokens respawned. So this will be this will be good to know. Does Blossom's tokens respawn every day, every week or every month? I'm guessing it's every season. But let's see. Yeah, she's still out. I bought these tokens like four days ago and they haven't respawned. So it could be they respawn every season. All right, we can check again. We'll check again sometime later when I remember. Sometime further in the month and see if they respawn. But I'm guessing it's like a one-time thing per season. So you can't just spend all your money and buy the tokens. The game actually wants you to like grind it out. That's fine. We're almost to a thousand. I would like 1300. We'll see if we can get there. If we can get 1300, that'd be great. I want the mount and I want the little cute pet. swap spells we're going to the bottom 50 oh there's some mithril over there let's get that stuff
Ooh, these rocks didn't break. Normally they always break on the first try. Okay, we're gonna put this stuff in chest, in a chest, in a chest, also in a chest. Combat level up. Spell haste. Combat spells now can now be cast faster. Sure. That sounds great. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's some ore right here. Let's get this. Mining level up. I was doing what? I forget. I think I put a point in Jewel Crafter. And what's this one? Enemies in the mines have a chance to drop fire crystal. No. One point is enough. Unlocks the ability to craft mana tomes and you're cheaper. That's enough for now. What is this one? Blast mining. Ore nodes have a 8% chance to drop an additional 5 ores. Sign me up. At the base level, it's 4%, and then it doubles to 8% when it's maxed. We're going to max that. Okay, let's see what's at the bottom. Level 5. The level 5th chest. Level 5 chest. There's a warning sign here. Is there a boss? Danger. Significant seismic activity has been recorded in the mine cave. Turn back now if you value your safety and whatever you do, do not attempt to mine any crystals. <laughs> Don't mine the crystals, you say? Uh-huh. Like this crystal? You don't want to mine this? Give me something. Raw. Dizzy! That's the wrong spell. Wait, I started a boss fight at 8 o'clock. What the heck? That's not the right way. Do it again. I can't do it again. Punch him. Oh! He does a lot of damage. I'm gonna die. That did nothing. This spell sucks. Time to go. I changed my mind. Bye. Get out of here, run. Get the fuck out. Go faster. Okay, this spell seems like a scam. This thing cost me 30 mana and it did like five damage to the boss. Get out of here. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. 20 HP? We're leaving. I'm going home. Screw this. I need a bed. I need a TLC loving of my wife. Heal me, Lucia. I'm dying. What this? What is this fire beam? Fire is a sustained beam of energy dealing damage to enemies hit. Fire beam deals 12 damage repeatedly. Costs 30 mana, 10 second cooldown. This spell seems hella sus. It did nothing to the boss. He had 25,000 HP and it brought him down to like 24,950. <laughs> and it cost me 30 mana. We're never using that spell again. Can I get refunded those points? I want those points back. I've been I've been ripped off. Okay, let's put this in here. And we can stick these love letters in there, sure. 
put away you and put away these things. I might have enough to make a single bar. Let's see if I could turn this into something. And then we'll put away Kitty's love token in here. Sure. Can I make something from Dorado? Let's see. Ooh, my watering can is ready. Nice. Mithril watering can, 15 use speed, has 45 uses. This one had 30, wow, additional 15. And then this is gonna get put away and the Mithril ore is gonna get put away, these are gonna get put away. Can I do anything with this Dorado? I have another... Okay. Do you want Dorado? You do. So it's only 35 gold. It's not worth selling, but eating this will give me that perk, which gives me, it'll pro, it'll trigger that perk that I have where when you eat cooked, when you eat a prepared food, you gain an, um, permanent increase to your mana. All right, let's go put down this rose. Can I put it out on the porch? No. What about like down here? It can't, oh, it can't go outside looks weird there we could make somewhere i can make like a table and chairs like an outdoor an outdoor recreation area and then we could put that there for now though let's put it over here by the window sure <laughs> there's just roses on the ground <laughs> uh yeah oh i forgot to put this stuff away let's do this really fast so next time our inventory is nice and clean and clutter free i have time to put the stuff away hardwood planks is going in this one mithril ore is going in this one watering can is going in equipment where was i putting those or was i putting it in farming yeah, we could put it in here. Sure. Why not? I still need the bee boxes. It's going to have to wait. We will make them soonish. Time for bed. Would you like to sleep? Yes, I would. Good night. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>